St. Gianna Oratory presents Daily Thought of St. Francis de Sales for December 28th. The years pass by. They blow away unnoticed one after the other, and when they finish, they bring to a close our mortal life. Oh, how much more desirable is eternity! Its duration is without end. Its days have no nights, and its consolations suffer no changes. What happiness does our soul enjoy when the mercy of God allows us to savor such sweetness? As we wait to see Jesus glorified, now we contemplate him in his poor cradle. From the Life of St. Francis de Sales On December 28, 1622, in a poor room in the gardener's cottage of the visitation of Belcourt, Francis de Sales passed to eternity. He knew that the hour of his eternal reward was at hand. He prepared himself with eagerness for his death. Having received extreme unction with edifying piety, he waited calmly and with a smile on his face for the moment of sleeping in the embrace of the Lord. Surrounded by members of his family and by other friends and acquaintances, toward eight in the evening, when the holy innocents were being invoked in the litany of the dying, his soul, pure and innocent, sped on its flight to heaven to be united with the beautiful choir of those who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. It can be said that Francis de Sales left the world only as far as his bodily presence was concerned, because the example of his virtues and the power of his protection keep him forever present in the souls of his innumerable devotees. He was only fifty-five years and five months old, but he was so full of grace and virtue that it seemed that he had lived much longer than that. If he was greatly admired on earth, he was much more mourned in death, and his blessed memory remains in the hearts of all.